put Rogan on here. Thoughts on the Kroger Albertsons merger? I think we should take all grocery chain owners and we should probably be beating them to death with rocks. I think we should be killing all the major grocery chain owners and then splitting up all the grocery chains. Especially if you're Canadian. If you're Canadian, you guys should be having a second, like, French Revolution, essentially, but only against the people that own, like, Loblaws. Put these in here. Put that one in there. The creatures in this village were quite horrifying. The Krogers in my area are dying. Albertsons is funneling everything to their locations. I mean, I think Kroger, Kroger to me is like a very old Southern person's store. When I hear Kroger, because my parents love Kroger. My parents love Kroger. But like, it's Midwestern. See, it feels Southern to me. But I mean, in Texas, there's a lot of Krogers. My parents are big Publix. Publix is not in Texas, though. Publix does not exist in Texas. Now, I will say, after living in Florida, I did come to enjoy Publix. I'm not going to lie. I did become a Publix head a little bit. I can't deny. I, 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 did, I did like Publix. But, like, Publix is not in, like, as far as I'm aware, it's not in Texas or anything. So, I don't think I've ever seen one in Arkansas, either. So, I don't think Publix is that Southern. But I have seen Kroger's in Arkansas, and I have seen Kroger's in Texas. So. A grocery store tier list? <laughs> I wonder if one exists. Do you think a grocery store... Does, do you think one already is list? That would actually be a fun one. Might have to, break, might have to crack out a tier list content, actually, for grocery stores. Might have, to, might have to make that one happen. Wait, I'm about to get wait, I'm about to get the progression. One second. I'm about to progress. I'm progressing. I'm progressing. Me when I'm a fucking single-celled organism in the goop. New hat. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What'd I get? Pink a wand. Press 3 to select and use the WSD to play songs. Ah... Bands to make her dance. Bands to make her dance, huh? In Panko Park? Okay, let's find this tear maker thing. Let's find the tear maker here. So the grocery store tier list tier maker. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this one. Create a grocery store tier list. What do we got on here? What? Who the fuck? Okay, wait. I mean, there is one, but does this? I don't know if it has a. I don't know a lot of these. I don't know a lot of these. And there also is no H-E-B, which I feel like H-E-B is like, there should be H-E-B on one of these. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can find one that has H-E-B, perhaps. Mm, I'm not. I'm not seeing one. Was H-E-B on that one? Did I miss it? Wait, well, let me go back. H-E-B? H-E-B? Oh, H-E-B was on this. Okay. Is this, does this have everything we need? Okay, but this doesn't have... Here's some things that are missing, though. It doesn't have Trader Joe's. And it doesn't have... Like... Does that have Vons? Kmart? I see Ralph's. I mean, I guess Ralph's is around the same as Vons. There's no Sam's Club. There's no Costco. I need to edit this, I think. I think I need to edit this one. 
Uh, how do I edit this again? I'm 20 minutes into your Light Matter Part 1 mod. Can you sum everything up that's happened since then? Well, we started playing Panko Park. We're about to do a grocery store tier list. He saw some pee in his hair. Um, I got called Yuri Coded. I need to add some additional images. Here we go. Let's add some additional images real quick. I need to I need to go find some images. One second. So I need a Vons. Here we go. Not now. I will be taking I'll be adding Vons to this tier list. Give me one second. Can I like just do it like that? No, I can't. Oh, you son of a bitch. Whole Foods is on there. Whole Foods is on there already. Whole Foods is on there. Do not worry. As you can see, look, right here. See, it's right there. It's on the right. It's on the right. Gotta add Vons. Ah, shit, it's transparent, but whatever. Um, I need Tar- uh, not Target. I need Trader Joe's. What about Hispanic stores like Fiesta or El Rancho? I'm going to be honest, I have not been in those. So I could not give an assessment anyways. I feel like we should limit this to like major US retailers, essentially. Because like, I can, won't be able to rate international ones. And like, it's probably why I, pro I probably shouldn't put like 99 Ranch or like... Is, is 99 Ranch a US retailer? Like, I don't know. Like, it's like a lot of those Asian stores, like H Mart and stuff, is that US based? Like, H Mart, is that a US based retailer? Like, I, I don't know. It is? Okay. So, in that case, is. Okay, so 99 ranches. So I'm gonna add 99 ranch and H Mart. I'll add all these. Dude, there's so many fucking logos to add. You don't wanna hear the chirping? You don't wanna hear the chirping? Fine. Tripping, tripping off. Tripping off. Um, okay, H Mart. Where are the bongos? Here, let's straight. We'll put on some bongos. How about some bongo music to fill out the fill it out? I don't know which one I used in the past. This the one. That seems right. <laughs> Artemis. Hello, Artemis. Um, okay. What am I missing now? So I have 99 Ranch, H Mart, Trader Joe's, Vons, all the usual suspects, I believe. What am I missing? Pinko Park is a game where you snap pictures of cute but creepy creatures in abandoned wildlife park. Is this real? Yes. I've been playing it. Myers? What the fuck is Myers? Myers? I have never heard of Myers. Never heard of this. Never heard of this. Literally, where is it located? Where is it located? Where is Meyer even located? Michigan? Ah, of course. Michigan. The Michiganders strike again, huh? Michigan. What's on the list so far? These are mostly just US retailers. So we have a bunch of ones I don't know. 
Some Asian markets because they're US based technically. Dude, this thing needs to. Look at the lighting on this shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> Michigan. Michigan people be like, I love Michigan. Um, okay, Myers in. Sam's Club? I think if we have Costco, we should probably add Sam's Club. I think that's a good point. Sam's Club logo. I'm going to put this one because I kind of like... Uh, I'll put this one, actually. I like this one. I think that's a good point. Mitsubia? What the... F Mitsua? What the fuck is Mitsua? Is that another US-based Asian... We can't add every grocery store on planet Earth. We have to own the largest. That's what, we're going only the largest in US. Only the largest. I need to just Google what are the largest... What are the largest grocery stores in the US? Top 10. Kroger, Costco, Albertsons. Wait, is Albertsons on here? Okay. A whole... The Dutch... Food Lion, Stop and Shop, Hannaford, and Giant. We have stuff. I've never, I've never even had any of those, so I have no fucking clue. It's Publix, H E B on there, Amazon, Target, Meyer. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Good luck on your engineer internship. I also have an interview tomorrow. I hope you get your internship. I hope you rock it because the job market's fucked, and you need to have experience to get a job. But they don't give you a job. Wegmans. Wegmans? Is Wegmans on here? Wegmans is on here. Wegmans is on here. Okay, what else? I'm I think we can add like maybe four to five more. Fred Meyer. Bucky's? Bucky's is not a grocer. Bucky's not a grocery store. Unfortunately, that's not being added. I'm sorry to let you know. That is a gas station. Sprouts? Fred Meyer grocery. Is that I've never even Fred Meyer. What the fuck is this? What is Fred Meyer? It has groceries? Yeah, but it's not a grocery store. Fred Meyer is just Kroger. ShopRite, Aldi, and Little. I think those Okay. I will add Fred Meyer, ShopRite, Aldi, and and Little. I will add those. Big Tesco. <laughs> is it Lidl? Wait, it's like Patrick saying Lidl, Lidl, Lidl. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. I didn't actually know that. I've never been inside one. Store with groceries is not equal grocery store. Correct. A store with groceries is not the same as a grocery store. A store might have groceries inside of it, but it doesn't make it a grocery store. Yeah, the green screen, unfortunately, without the lighting, it's it's having a rough time. I can maybe do like a... No, I can't really. Le oh, that's true. Lidl, it is a European store, so should I be allowed to add it? It's not a US-based chain. It's not really a US-based chain. Loblaws is not US-based. But we do have them. I think maybe Sprouts is what about what about Sprouts? Sprouts works. Sprouts works. I'll add Sprouts. But I don't Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. But I just I think it has to be something that's a Euro, that's a US based thing. Whole Foods is there. Add VGs? What the fuck is VGs? VGs grocery? So no Aldi? I don't think we're going to add Aldi or, or Lidl. Because is they're not US based technically. But I guess they are big chains in the US. 
I I'll add him. I'll add him. I'll add him. I'll add him. You know what? I'm just gonna add him for the sake of, for the sake of being of of the of the list. I'm gonna add him for the sake of the list. Where is Tesco at? Tesco, unfortunately, is not in the U.S. <laughs> Big Tesco and Tesco are both not in the U.S. Fresh Market? Ooh, Fresh Market's a good one. Fresh Market, that one's a good one. I am adding, adding our Aldi here. Okay. Trader Joe's is on there. Don't worry. Best Buy is not a grocery store list. It's not, it's not going on there. Giant and Redner's. Is Giant on here? Giant Eagle? Is Giant Eagle? Is that what, is that, is that the one? Is Giant Eagle different than Giant? Dude, there's too many grocery stores. I mean, Tom, I mean, also, if this is the case, we should put Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb logo. There's literally... We're going to be here for hours. We're going to be here for fucking hours putting on putting on this grocery store. Tom Thumb? Ah, uh, you guys aren't familiar with Mr. Thumb, huh? You guys aren't familiar with Mr. Tom Thumb. Are you? You guys don't know about Tom Thomas Thumb. Thomas Thumb, let's just say real Texans know about Thomas Thumb. Real Texans know Tom Thumb. Um, okay, Win Dixie. Win Dixie. I I have heard of Win Dixie. Do I really not Win Dixie on this? That's crazy. You're right, it's not here. Yeah, Harris Teeter is on here. First of all, also, by the way, Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm... Ah, fuck, dude. No, I can't. There's too many grocery stores. I haven't been to half of these. Win Dixie's on there. If you don't add, add ShopRite to this, I'm gonna eat a shoe. Okay, ShopRite, ShopRite, ShopRite. Dude, I mean, I'll, I mean, I will say their logo's kind of fire though. The logo's kind of fire though. It's kind of a fire logo, a hundred percent. Can you add Walmart? Walmart's in here, man. Right there. no frills i don't i mean i guess do we have dollar tree in this i guess we do i can i can add, i've never been why is amazon in there amazon has amazon fresh they have physical locations i believe kmart's on there which is crazy i'll add no frills because sure i'll put no frills on here wait no frills is canadian this has a canadian literally has the maple leaf this is not this is not a US based company. I'll put Air One on this, because why not? It's a fucking leaf. Dude, there are so many fucking grocery stores. Um, okay, it, what, what else am I missing here? Not represent I literally said it's US based. It's US based, okay? US based. Harris Teeter? It's right in front of your eyes, man. Look at it. It's right here. Giant? Why is there a giant and a giant eagle? Why are there two different things? What the fuck? What is this? There's too many grocery stores. All right, here we go. Giant. Giant's in there. Wrong logo? Mother. I don't. Fuck you. Mm. 
ah, how do I remove it? How do I remove the logo? How do I remove that? How do I remove the, how do I remove a logo? There are two different giants? What do you mean there are two different giants? What are we in some sort of fantasy novel? What do you mean there there's a giant eagle? There's two different giants. What do we Brian Sanderson? What are we talking about here? Or is it Brandon Sanderson? Whatever the fuck his name is. You would add Piggly Wiggly? First of all, Piggly Wiggly is the big fucking pig right here, man. Piggly Wiggly is literally right there. Okay. I'm giving last last chance for submissions. Last chance for submissions. Fred Meyer is not there, you son of a bitch. Fred Meyer is literally... I added Fred Meyer. I added Fred Meyer. Where is he? Okay, I did not add Fred Meyer. Did not add Fred Meyer. I thought I added Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer's just Co Kroger. It's not about the ownership group, okay? It's not about the ownership group. It's not about the ownership group. It's about the distinct grocery store in their feel. Okay, you have to understand. It's very important. Okay, I will say, actually, you're right. With Central Market, Central Market should go on. I do know Central Market as a Texan. As a Texan, I am aware of Central Market, so I'm going to add it. I also know, I don't know if you guys know this one. I don't know if you guys know this one. Market Street grocery logo anyone know market street anyone heard of this one market street also pretty goaded okay ah uh, yes the market street flower mound is goaded i would do one in colleyville though okay there we go Lowe's Foods? What the fuck is Lowe's? You're telling me Lowe's has a food section now. There's too many. Pathmark? That isn't Pathmark. That's like a D&D &D, like rule book. I love going to Lowe's to get my groceries. Listen, I think this is good enough. I can't add every regional chain. I'm not in it. I'm, 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 I'm locking it in. I'm locking it in at this. Winco? Okay, fine. I'll add Winco. Winco logo. Safeway? Is Safeway a US-based chain? Does Safeway exist in the US? Also, is Safeway on there? Dude, Safeway's fucking on there, isn't it? It is. It's fucking on there. Safeway is literally here. Safeway, Safeway has West Coast on lock? I live in California. I've never seen a Safeway. You gotta have... If you're at all these you've never heard of, you gotta have Fiesta. Okay, fine. I'll add Fiesta. But guess what? I have not been inside a Fiesta. So... I'm going to add it for you, but I will not be able to rate it. I will give you Fiesta, though. Okay. Jewel Osco rules the Midwest. Jewel Osco? Jewel Osco? That's a that is a that's a merchant's name. This is the name of a merchant. And like Baldur's Gate. Jewel Osco. Fine. I'm giving this is the last one, because then it'll be uneven. It'll be uneven if I add any more. This is the last one. This is the last one. I, it'll be uneven if I add another one. No, we're not adding Seafood City. Okay, that's it. That's it! We're done. 
I'm doing the list. I'm doing the list. Turn down. I'm turning down the progressive music. Okay. Okay. Albertsons. I'm starting with Albertsons. Save a lot. I've been to Tokyo Central and Cartina. No, I've not. I need to. I need to change the names on these. Um, I think a grocery store can probably only realistically get to C. So I'm putting never been here. Because I have never in my life been to a grocery store that's a D. Because like that's just like impossible. Stop and shop. Never been. Don't know anything about it. Publix. Honestly, S. Publix. That's an S tier. That's an S tier grocery chain. Publix kind of slaps. I am a fan of Publix personally. After after like I I do like Publix. They could have better employees. Well, I'm not going to rate it based off employee. Well, okay, it's not true. I am going to rate some of these off employee caliber. But all the Publixes where I went, where I lived near like Miami and stuff was like really good. So I really like that. Save Mart. Never been. Couldn't. Publix is a bit expensive. Publix is not. Publix is expensive. Publix? Publix is like the most, it's like a very baseline grocery store. Publix is like an extremely baseline grocery store though. Like it's expensive compared to like a Dollar Tree, I guess. Like how is Publix expensive? Like Publix is like where like every single person in Florida shop. Like don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong if it's too expensive for you. But like I don't think it's. That's just not realistic, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I mean, it's it's simply not realistic to call Publix expensive. Like, Publix is, like, a, literally just a base-ass grocery chain. Like, it's not, like, a very, like, premium grocery chain. Like, don't it go, if it's too expensive for you, that's fine. I think that's literally fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but, like, I just don't think... Public, it's not like saying, like, oh, Air, you think Air One's expensive? Like, obviously, Air, like, if you compare it to, like, Air One or, like, Whole Foods and shit like that. But, like, Publix is definitely not expensive, in my opinion. Like, that is, like, a very baseline grocery chain. And once again, that is not a value judgment that if it is expensive for you. It simply is just realistically in the in the tier of grocery stores not expensive. Um, I have never... I have never bought anything from Amazon Fresh, to my knowledge. I don't think I've ever bought anything from Amazon Fresh. However, this is the problem is that this is going to be like half this list is going to be never been. Like the grocery store tier list doesn't make any sense because there's too many grocery stores. <laughs> there's too many grocery stores. So I haven't been to half this shit. Kroger's is on the list. I've been to a Kmart. Okay, I'm gonna say as a child, I don't remember much. I've been so long since I've been to Kmart. If we're talking, are we talking modern Kmart's or like old Kmart? Because old Kmart popped. Old Kmart was like an A tier grocery store. But the problem is, like, current Kmart doesn't really exist. Pretty much. I think there's still a couple locations left. I'm going to base it off the holistic, like, I'm going to base it off the holistic trend of, like, what Kmart used to be. I'm putting Kmart in A tier. Kmart, when it existed, was an A tier grocery store. It was really nice. So, I'm, I'm putting it, this is mostly nostalgia bait, honestly. Mostly nostalgia bait. Piggly Wiggly. Who the fuck is shopping at Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> Why? Well, who the fuck is shopping at Piggly Wiggly? I've never been to Piggly Wiggly, so I'm I've never been there. I've never been there. I I I I literally didn't know Piggly Wiggly existed. Didn't know. Never been to Market Basket. Couldn't place it. There are twelve Kmart stores left. It's sick and cheaper than Publix. Well, you know what? I wish I had seen a Piggly Wiggly. If I had known that, I would have gone to a Piggly Wiggly. 
It is, it's got a crazy name. Got a crazy name for sure. Walmart. This is one of the few one you can't. This is a C tier grocery store, unfortunately. Walmart is a C tier grocery store. It's uh, mostly because of the fact that the uh, of because of the general atmosphere. I despise Walmart. I despise it not only as a company, but also uh, because of the fact of like what the the atmosphere of what it is to go inside a Walmart. And uh, just and also I don't think their their produce selection anything like that is very good. Obviously, it depends on the store. But overall, I find their menu item, and also the other problem, a lot of problem, Walmart also. Other problem, with Walmart, that instead of having like real groceries and like good groceries and stuff like that, it's filled. Which, and to be fair, this is not Walmart's fart. This is fart, fart fault. This is the people that go Walmart's fault. But it's filled with like, it's filled with just like crazy junk food collaboration foods. That's why I don't like Walmart as well it's just filled with like the newest Reese's peanut butter cup collaboration food versus like a head of lettuce <laughs> like some versus like something that's like more reasonable you know they have like they have like just ridiculous packaged foods and like instead of really having higher quality actual groceries um i'm gonna jump around here a bit price chopper haven't been can't rate it super value haven't been can't rate it um, I have been in a Dollar Tree. So, I want to... I don't know. Dollar Tree's... It used to be better. Dollar Tree used to be better. It's a question of, like, if I rated above... Like, significantly above Walmart. And also, yeah, I think that's another problem is like with a Dollar Tree is like they don't really have a very wide selection of groceries. Like, because yes, is Dollar Tree cheap? Would I, do I like it as a company probably more than Walmart? But it still has a very specific selection of groceries. Like it's, a, you can't really get necessarily a lot there. I think I'm honestly just because of selection biases, like what you can actually purchase at Dollar Tree I think it might actually have to go below Walmart because of the fact that you can't actually get nearly as many items there to like actually make food, <laughs> nutritious food to a degree. So I, I think I think I am going to put it in the C tier. They put small town business out of business and create a monopoly. Okay, but that's like literally every grocery chain on this list. Every grocery chain on this list has put all the small town grocery chains out of business for the most part. Like almost all, literally that's what all these trade. this is what all, all these grocery stores are also like half, like they're pretty much all owned by the same three people. Walmart is good to masala lays there. Oh dude, the masala, the masala lay, I also had the masala spice lays, the masala, like the, the masala lays, those were pretty good too. Those weren't bad. I have never been to Giant. Um, H Mart. I like H Mart. I like H Mart, but unfortunately, it does not go. It go. It, it's it's getting a good rating. It's getting at least a B, potentially an A. I don't think it breaks into the S tier for me. Me personally. Me personally. I'm putting 99 Ranch into the S. I put 99 Ranch into the S. I like 99 Ranch a lot. 99 Ranch is in the S. 100%. I love it. I love 99 Ranch. And I think because H Mart is... Well, like worse, but not like a lot worse. I'm going to put H Mart like in the A tier, probably above Kmart. 99 Ranch is actually an Asian grocery store chain in the States. Nine Ranch is actually an Asian grocery store chain in the States. 
It's very good, though. It's very good. Hey, let's look at some images. Here you go. But yeah, it's a not. It's a. It's an Asian grocery store chain. Uh, it exists in Texas and California, I believe. But yeah, it's good. It's a nice grocery store chain. Oh, I go to a local place that's just called Chinese Market. Yeah, I had a really good place in Florida, and it was literally just called Asian World Market. <laughs> and it was only open like four days a week. Um, but obviously, I can't put that on the list. Uh, Sam's Club. Sam's Club is just dog shit Costco. But it's better than like Walmart or Dollar Tree, so it's like B. Sam's Club is B. It's just worse. It's just it's just worse Costco. It's just worse Costco, but it's also owned by the Walmart Corporation. Um, and it's it's unfortunately, and also they got blown out by uh, the Rizzler and um, Young Justice, Justice, <laughs> Big Justice, whatever the fuck his name is. You know, they got three Big Justice, you know. Young Justice, I think, is a TV show. Consider Cookie Cake. Cookie Cake is the worst form of cake, and I'll stand, I'll die by that. I'll die by that take. Cookie Cake Cookie Cake is actually the worst form of cake, and it's so bad. I despise Cookie Cake. Despise it, I hate it. Just give me an actual good cookie. Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. ShopRite, haven't been. Couldn't tell you. Harris Teeter, funny name, haven't been. Okay, now to do one that I do know. Ralph's. Solid B-tier grocery store, unfortunately. Not very good. I'm tempted to even put C for Ralph's. I'm tempted to even put a top of C for the Ralph's grocery store chain. I, I agree, Vons is better. I agree, I agree with that. I think Vons is better. Um... I think tentatively, oh, sorry. Tentatively, what do you want, Kitty? Is it is it time to feed you? Oh, it is time to feed you guys. Okay, let me, Daddy's got to finish the grocery store tier list. Ralph's is going in the, it's going in a, in the B. It's going in the B. Um, Costco, the few times I have been, have been goaded. I actually don't have a membership there, but I have gone. I think Costco uh, will earn its way into the S tier if it, if you are a frequent Costco user. And for the times I have been, I have very much enjoyed the experience. That it gets three booms. Costco gets three booms. So Costco is going into the S tier. It's making its way there. We're Costco guys. Of course, we're gonna do a tier list of our grocery stores and put Costco in S tier. I also, unrelated, I don't, there's so much like Costco guy cinematic universe lore that I simply don't know about. Like I know about the Rizzler and like big justice and stuff, but like there, there's so much lore there. It feels, it, it feels like trying to play like the Warcraft three custom version of Dota where they're like, you're like, there's just so much, there's a lore check before you can even figure it out. Big Justice's kingdom is falling. Like, like this shit. Like in this post-irony society. Uh, DG. Never been to DG. That looks like a, like a, like a restaurant. Hannah Ford. This is, uh, this looks like the cornucopia from Fruit of the Loom. Oh, is it Dollar General? Oh, it's Dollar General. Dollar General goes in the C tier as well. I have, I, I don't, I have never had a good experience in a Dollar General. Personally, I have never had a good experience in a Dollar General. I, I Dollar Tree has far outperformed Dollar General for me, but I, from what I remember, uh, it's, it's also still just lower selections than like a Walmart. Doing this for Australia would take like ten seconds. We have like four. Yeah, Commonwealth countries typically, you guys, that says you guys have no freedom. Your internet and grocery stores are tragic, unfortunately. Unlike us here in America. 
Um, let's see. Myers, here, I've added you to the list, never been. <laughs> Lidl, never been. Aldi, I have been to Aldi. Aldi is a solid B grocery store. Actually, Aldi for the prices, I think it's going into A. I think about Aldi because it's no, it's not, there's not a lot of frills, but it just has what you need and it's good prices. Very reasonable. I actually think Aldi goes A. Aldi goes up into the A for the grocery store tier list now that I think about it. In fact, I'm going to put it, I mean, Kmart nostalgia wise probably goes above it to be fair. Aldi goes up though. Whole Foods. Okay. The one in Florida was ass. It was, but the thing it was also really cheap and had everything you needed. And also had some fun stuff in it too. But you have to remember, some of these stores are really bad, Artemis. Some of these grocery stores are like really bad. And also, I don't think that's like the... But Whole Foods, I, I think is a B tier, mostly because of price. Whole Foods, Whole Foods is mostly in the B tier because of price. It actually has a lot of stuff, but obviously it's really expensive. So it's going to the B tier because of the price. I think if it was like cheap, like a lot cheaper, it would be going into like an A tier. But it is not. It might even, it, 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 like if it was like affordable enough, it could go into S tier. But it's very expensive. So it goes B. Food Lion. Who the fuck is eating at Food Lion? What is the tier base? What is this tier based on? Price, quality, aura? It's based on a, a combination of factors. Price, the quality ratio, selection, also general aura of employees and clientele, and the niceness, the average niceness of the locations. So Whole Foods, once again, could be, I mean, if anything, I might put Whole Foods at the top of the B just because of all the, the selection of it, but it's still just too expensive to go up. Kang Jin donated five dollars. Giant Eagle the never first been. The dollar general tell you. I went to was at the 2019 All Playoffs in Philly. Kang Jin with the five. The, the first dollar general open. I went to a was at 2019 All Playoffs in Philly. And I can't hear the other people, people box, were break dancing in the parking lot. Ten out of ten. The auto doors were broken open, and a lady was screaming in the makeup aisle, and a group of people were break dancing in the parking lot. That does sound right for a Dollar General, to be fair. <laughs> dollar Generals are like, because also they're like pretty much the only grocery store in like the rural south a lot of the times. Or they're like, just like the super cheap option where a lot of no, a lot, you know, a lot of people congregate and there's a lot of people just trying to get by and a lot of people are just causing trouble. <laughs> Jewel Osco, never been. Fake name. I don't even remember what this one is. Something food. I think it's like ShopRite food or something. Or Win or Win Dixo food or something. Never been. Central Market. This is a Texas chain. Central Market is actually pretty cool. Central Market actually is a honestly a top of uh, mm, I'm gonna put in A tier. It's going. It's going in A. This is only for real Texas head. Yeah, it's, it's like a cheaper Whole Foods. Exactly right. Yeah, it's a cheaper Whole Foods. So I think it goes into A tier for that reason. I agree. Um. Okay, te Texans, you're about to hate me for this one. AGB. AGB. I don't think is that good. I do not think H-E-B is that good. Plus, we didn't really have the North Texas, but the times I had it in like Austin and Houston, I didn't think H-E-B was that good. Sorry, Texans. H-E-B is like a top of B tier because of price. It's still very affordable, got great selection. I just didn't, I just wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed with H-E-B. Now, this could be because of the fact that I haven't gone to it enough. I'm going to put an asterisk on this. That's your Texan card revoked. Well, here, if you want to hear another Texan thing, I don't think Whataburger is that good either. 
after moving abroad, I think In and Out clears Whataburger for uh like quality to pr to price ratio as well. The best thing about Whataburger is the honey butter chicken biscuits. Honey butter chicken biscuits are actually goaded from Whataburger. But everything else, and the spicy ketchup, but everything else from Whataburger is kind of ass. And that was ass? And that was not ass. I'm sorry to tell you. The fries are ass, though. You've never had a patty melt at 2 a.m. drunk as fuck? You are simply so incorrect, you could never be more wrong. I have, I have traveled. I have made the journey, the pilgrimage, the Hajj to Whataburger many a time. In my mid to early 20s. Late at night. And had a patty melt or a burger or some fries with a fucking shake from Whataburger. And guess what? It's not good. It wasn't good. Now the honey butter chicken biscuit. And the spicy ketchup. Those are pretty good. In fact, I love the, the, the Whataburger spicy ketchup enough. I even had like a bottle of it in my fridge. Even though it's literally just ketchup with jalapeno. Okay. Uh, Albertsons. I think Albertsons and Kroger are essentially the same tier of grocery store. I think I prefer a Kroger to an Albertsons. Me personally. This is just my bias coming through. They're both... C tier grocery stores though. I don't particularly like either of them that much, but I would rather go to a Kroger than an Albertsons. And I, I don't really like them either one. They just kind of, they're the reasonable price, decent selection, bad aura. Don't love the, you know, don't love, don't love much about them. I don't think there's much, there's much benefit there. Me personally. Why are we all clapping? It's because we hate Albertsons and Kroger. <laughs> Why are we clapping? Oh, the Albert. Ah, the Albert bit. Ah, I get it. That's fair. Uh, Vaughn's. I think Vaughn's is very good. I think Vaughn's is going in the top, towards the top of the A tier for me. I think Vaughn's good affordability, good affordability, and also I go to Vaughn's more than H Mart, so I'm putting it above H Mart. Good affordability, good pricing, good selection. I love a Vaughn's. I love a Vaughn's, a good go-to grocery store. Where are Vaughn's? These are West Coast. <laughs> These are a West Coast store, unfortunately. So we're getting some regional bias. Vaughn's higher than HEB? Sorry, I just am not impressed with HEB. Um, Fiesta, never been. Fred Meyer, never been. So there's going to be like so half of this list, over, maybe even ha over half of the list is going to be in the never been. Uh, Target, pretty bad. But as a grocery store, it's pretty bad. As a store... It's not awful. I don't really love Target that much as a grocery store. I prefer it as a store. I think Target is like bottom of B. Very bottom of B. Because I think it's better. Yes, it's just better Walmart. It's literally just better Walmart. And it's... Uh, and it's... It's, it's a decent store, but I don't really think it's that good of a grocery store. It doesn't have that good of a selection a lot of the times, depending on the store you go to. It's pricier. But the biggest reason... Cat, you're in the way. The biggest reason you might go here... You know what? We should do a cat feeding break. Kitty, let's get... Let's, everyone, let's, have, let's simmer on our opinions for a bit while I feed the cat. Let's simmer on our opinions. Let's, let's feed the cat. Yes, kitty. Come on.
cats had their food. They were very hungry. They're very hungry. Ah. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, target's fine. I spent a night a drinking instead of watching. Could someone please catch me up? Well, you're at the end of the stream, pretty much. I dropped a go to the game on everyone that no one was expecting Panko Park. And then I uh, am ranking the groceries, the grocery stores, sort of, with regional bias. Also, going to school later is is goaded because as a, when I was a young man, when I was like 18, 19, I thought it was like cringe when the older students were like asking questions in my engineering courses. But then I realized that like I now I was just like, I'm really stupid because like you're paying money to be there. So you should learn. <laughs> and I was just a stupid teenager. So... You know, going back, use a lot of you lose a lot of your distractions, and you just kind of like learn. Um, okay, Market Street, very pricey but very good. So, unfortunately, I actually have Market Street over a Whole Foods Market for me for Texas heads. For Texas heads, I have a Market Street over a Whole Foods because it is around the same price range but nicer, in my opinion, and it's not going to Jeff Bezos. What about Fresh Market? I have never been to a Fresh Market. Never been. No, I know. I, I have Central Market. Yeah, I've never been to Fresh Market. Yeah. Never been. Couldn't tell you. Wegmans? Never been to a Wegmans. Winn-Dixie. I have been to a Winn-Dixie. Ah. Winn-Dixie is like also a B and C tier grocery store for me. I was not impressed with Winn-Dixie. I have it like essentially on the same plane as like a Kroger and Albertsons personally, but I have more respect for Kroger and I, and I fucking hate Albertsons. So yeah, I'm going Winn Dixie beneath Kroger. Name another grocery store with a movie. What? What are you talking about? Shaw's never been. Uh, the people are gonna the people. They might not they might not like it. I don't know if they're gonna like this one. I don't know if they're gonna like this one. But uh For me personally For me personally, Trader Joe's goes into the S. I shop a lot at Trader Joe's. I do a lot I do a decent amount of shopping at Trader Joe's. They have my favorite current yogurt brand. It's Trader Joe's Goes into the S. Talk to a boo this man. What is this? Because of Win Dixie? Who the fuck knows this movie? This is not this is not a cinema movie, unfortunately. They call him Trader Connor there, folks. Everyone in chat knows? What? I've never heard of because of Win Dixie. Never heard of it. I'm sorry. Never heard of it. Uh, Amazon Fresh, I think I've used it once, but I I just don't I don't have that much of an opinion on it. I really haven't gone. I feel like I should put it in the never been tier. That's the Bridge to Terabithia girl. Now I do know Bridge to Terabithia. I do know Bridge to Terabithia. Trader's is the best snacks, but worst meat and produce selection. I actually don't mind. I think they actually have really good frozen shrimp. If you if you are a shrimp head like myself, they have pretty good frozen shrimp. Bethia is it not Bethia? What Terabithia? The Terabithia. I'm just gonna put the Amazon Fresh here in the never been because I honestly have not used it enough. Yeah, the Kmart was a nostalgia rating entirely. Uh, BJ's never been Safeway never been no HB on tier list. There's literally an HB right here and it's in the B tier. Tom thumb better than Kroger Albertsons and Winn Dixie, but worse than target. I think 
Tom Thumb for me is a B tier grocery store for the Texas heads out there. That's not a real place. It is. It is. Un it is unfortunately, and it also well, not unfortunately, um, but uh, it is actually interestingly enough. Tom Thumbs is like a kosher grocery store, so it's actually a lot of Jewish people shop at Tom Thumb. Very interestingly enough, so I'd be like in Dallas, Texas, and like next to my parents, I go to the store, and there'd be like a ton of Jewish people there, um, because it was kosher. Tom Thumbs better than Target. Mm. Target has a wider selection of things sometimes. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed on the two. I feel like there's a toss-up for me, personally. I think Target has a wider selection of... It has worse grocery selection than Tom Thumb, but better just by being able to purchase stuff selection. But now that I think about it, Tom Thumb does have a much better, like... Their bakery and things like that. Mm. No, you're right. Actually, I think you might be right. Top of them goes above it. Uh, Air One. As someone that has been to Air One, but not really purchased any things from there. Like I've purchased like maybe one thing ever as a as for my girlfriend. I. Air One, unfortunately, is in the C tier because it is so unreasonably priced that it's just... I mean, I literally don't... Like, only... Literal, only, like, tech elites are purchasing Air One. Or influencers. Like, who the fuck... But the, and the crazy part is, like, going to an Air One, there are so many people there in California, like, near where I live. And I'm like, how are you people affording this shit? Like, how are you buying this? The, like, I'm sure the quality... Is fine. No, your girlfriend's a tech elitist? No, she's closer to an influencer than a tech elitist. And she also has very bougie taste for things. I I think Erwan, but I, I'm gonna put it like below Walmart. Because technically it's a small business. <laughs> technically it's a small business. But it's also heinously priced. Has bougie taste, but is dating a homeless man. First of all, I'm not homeless. I'm literally in my apartment right now. At my computer, at my desk. What are we talking about? That's just factually incorrect. Not for long. <laughs> Guys, I'm in the library stream room, actually. I'm in the library stream room. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull down the curtain I've been in the library. Sprouts? I think Sprouts is pretty good. I actually like Sprouts a lot. Sprouts, for me, because it's more available, is an A-tier grocery store. It's an A-tier grocery store. I think I'm putting it above Aldi. Rotisserie chicken is $23. Bro, you think that's ridiculous? You think that you think that's you think that's ridiculous? The rotisserie chicken? Erwan has like a pack of nuts, like almonds. Like they're almonds for like a small like 10 ounce pack. It's like $33. Like like Erwan like Air, 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 like literally only the coastal elites. The actual tech elites are shopping there. Yeah, they're mangoes. A single mango from Marijuana is like $5. A single mango. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's fucking obscene. It's literally fucking obscene, the prices. Like, it's why it goes in the C tier towards the bottom. And the only reason it's not towards the bottom is because it actually has, like, probably really good quality. And it's a small business, technically. But it's it's only for the people... It's only for people that have trust funds. Or, like, have 300 million followers on TikTok. Okay, the cops are coming again to arrest me. The Air One Police. Air One Police is coming for me, guys. 
It's over. Uh, Family Dollar, I have been in here, like, once, but I'm essentially going to put it in the same tier as, like... But I, I just have a better feel for Family Dollar. And so I'm going to put Family Dollar above Dollar Tree and Dollar General. I just, I just like, I like the vibes of Family Dollar more. Have you not seen a Safeway? I was. Well, it's not about having not seen a Safeway. I have never been in one. I've never been in one. I've never shopped in one. All around me are just only Vons, Sprouts, Ralphs. Um, I think there's some Aldi's, some Whole Foods, Target. Uh, then, then like the 99 Ranch Trader Joe's. Well, there we go. That's the tier list. That's the grocery store tier list. Which is shit because half of the list I haven't gone to. I haven't gone to half this fucking list. So it's a terrible list. It's just not good. <laughs> it's not a good list, unfortunately. But I will say, looking at this, it looks like it does. I know, actually, I know I'm going to push back because I don't think this is the me hating poor people list because I have other chains above Air One and also I have chains like Vons, Kmart, Aldi, and Publix up in the S and A tiers, which I think are very affordable tiers. I think all the, you need to visit a Hannaford with one of those streamer backpacks. You already said fuck Food Lion. Food Lion is a, is a, is a raid boss. Food Lion is a raid boss in Bug Snacks. I, I listen, it's not a real store. DEI grocery store picks. Dude, all guys, you're at, you're acting incredulous that I've ever been to grocery stores. You guys haven't been to probably several of these grocery stores on this list either, because there's like eight million grocery stores. There's eight million grocery stores in the U.S. Unless I literally tra literally travel the U.S. to go to the grocery stores, I'm never going to try them. It's just not going to happen. I would have to travel the whole continental U.S. to go try grocery stores. new content idea <laughs> you have the time <laughs> okay i have the time but i don't have the money unless you guys are gonna start kicking in a lot more money for gas which by the way is not required so it's 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 just not gonna happen a vast would spit on me if i pulled out food stamps you will change your mind about cookie cakes i won't i won't Cookie cakes, I as a, I am a cookie head. I love cookies. I love a good cookie. Do not like cookie cakes. I started hating cookie cakes when I was like nine. That's how you know I was a real anti cookie head, cookie cake guy. Was one even at nine when my all my taste buds were wired to just get as much like glucose and sugar possible. I still said cookie cake was trash. I still was like cookie cake is not for me, even to the age of nine. Okay, you need milk for it? No, you don't. No, you don't. You, you shouldn't have to get milk for a cake ever. One. And two, it's ruined because it's covered in icing. So what, you're going to dip the cookie cake into the milk and get all the icing into the milk? Like, what are you talking about? Okay. That's enough. We have hit the four. We have hit the four hour and twenty mark. Just about. We didn't finish Panko Park either. I hope you guys are happy. We didn't finish Panko Park. Are you guys happy? This is the last you guys are ever gonna see at Panko Park. This is it. This is the one stream we're doing of it. <laughs> no more. This is the end of Panko Park. No, anyway. <laughs> but you know, hey. Are molding co-op streams coming up soon? Yeah, Jack and I are... Jack and I are going to play a co-op game soonish, hopefully. Hopefully. 
We have to schedule the time though. I know I didn't finish the skill tree, but the streams but run out. We ran out of time. I gotta go make dinner. Download and install Thousand Year Door. Yeah, I need to do that. Dude, oh, Super Mario RPG too. I I could do that as well. Did you tweet your list? Um, no, because the thing is, I feel like it's worthless to tweet the list because half of it I've never been to. What's the point of tweeting a list where half it you've never been to? What's even the point? Is that worth the discussion? For clout? Ray, you know what? That's true. Engagement bait. Engagement bait time. Engagement bait time. Here we go. Everyone, are you ready for engagement baiting? Let's do it. You need clout so bad. Don't, because you will get so many New Englanders mad. Clout equal. Well, I don't have Twitter blue. There, I posted it. I posted it just for you guys. See, look. There it is. There it is. Posted just for you guys. <laughs> 